Hey guys, so I come to you from a different setup today um, because I'm back home and I'm not in my dorm and this I don't plan for this to be my usual setup but it will be for this video and today I'm going to be unboxing a new camera so I just ordered the uh, Sony Cybershot DSC HX80 so Here's the box for that. And I plan for this to be my new camera, especially for vlogging. Um, I was going to get the Sony HX90V, but they just came out with this new model, the HX80, which is newer than the 90, but okay. And this just came out last April. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, so here's the box and I got an open box version for $315 off of Best Buy and it is usually retailed for about $350 and the earlier version, the HX90V, was retailed at about $428 so this is significantly cheaper and has only a few differences so let's go ahead and open it Okay, here's all of their Wi-Fi guides. I can read through those later. Then let's see, we have a wall charger. So here just a normal USB wall charger. Here is the battery. I hope it has charge in it so I can try it out. Here is just a USB cable. It looks to be micro USB. Um, just the same as most phones that aren't Apple. Um, which is very handy because I can just use my phone charger to charge my camera. Then getting into the actual camera itself. Here are some little specs about it. Sorry that won't focus, but that's why I have a new camera. So they have a built-in electric viewfinder, which I knew, and they have the flip-up screen. Here's some more of the information that's on the package itself. You know, 18.2 megapixels, not bad. 30 times optical zoom, which is really, really amazing. It has the viewfinder, which is nice if you're in low light and can't see the screen. It has the tiltable LCD screen, which will be very handy for vlogging. Let's get into the camera now. So here, oh, oh, oh. It's upside down. Wow, that was anticlimactic. Here is the camera. Wow, it is beautiful. So some of the differences between this and the earlier version, the HX90V, is that this does not have GPS on it, and I didn't think I'd be using that anyway, so it was worth it to me for the, for, to save money and get the cheaper version, and newer. Another difference is that this doesn't have I think a rotating thing for zoom, it may be for autofocus, I couldn't find much information on it, but the HX90V has something that rotates here, I, I think for zoom, but I am not sure on that. Um, and I think those are the only differences. So here you can just see what it looks like on the outside. Here is the other side. Uh, here is the top, and you just have pretty uh, standard controls. Then here it has the flip up LCD screen, great for vlogging. I also really like this grip that it has, that's one of the reasons why I got this, because it's very easy just to hold like this and I don't feel like I'm going to drop it. Whereas other ones, like I know the Canon G7X, it does not have this, even though the a uh, new version, the Mark II, is, 
is going to have a little bit of a grip on it that comes out in June. But that's about $700, and this one was only 315 So I think that's most of the outside. Let's go ahead and try it out. Here we put in an SD card and battery. Okay, let's turn it on and see. Okay, so enter. It has to format the memory card, I believe. Complete. Okay, here we go. Um, it should have, I mean, I'll go through all the settings and adjust that later, but this is just a first impression, and one thing that I know it has is really, the really good zoom, 30 times optical zoom. Wow. Look at that. So, I will switch now to using my new camera, and yeah, let's test it out. Okay, here we go. I think that looks pretty nice, but it's on a very small screen, so I can't really tell. Hey guys, I'm just going to interrupt this here real quick to explain to you why I think there's all this glitchy footage. Um, I think it's because I didn't have the battery like all the way in, so it wasn't quite connecting very well, and that caused it to be glitchy. I haven't had any problems with it after that. So I think that was it. I don't think it had anything to do with the camera. I think it was my my own fault. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. Okay, bye. Um, I will try this in a variety of lighting so that you guys can see what it's like. Right now I'm very backlit, so maybe that's not so great. I also do have this uh, studio light on right now. Let me see what happens if I turn it off. Okay, I mean, I think it still looks fine. I'm still very backlit. I'm gonna try just, sorry, I'm gonna look up a lot because I'm trying to see what it looks like, but I'm just gonna walk around and see what it looks like in different lights. I'll also try going outside. Let's go do that and see what it looks like. So right now it is about 7 p.m. So the sun is setting and it's not super bright out, but I think it's a very nice filming light because it's not too bright but not too dark and I think it looks pretty good. I will continue on in the house a little bit. I'll try to go in some well-lit places and some darker places and see the difference. Also, this camera does only have a 1 over 2.3 inch sensor, whereas popular vlogging cameras like the Canon G7X have a 1 inch sensor. So this one probably doesn't do as well in low light as the Canon G7X, but let's go see how it does in low light. Okay, here's an example of a low light condition. I can see that it doesn't do too well. What if I turn on the light? There we go. So, I mean, that's that dark hallway. There are no lights on. Meow. Okay, so my battery just died on this while I was walking around the house, um, which is explainable because I did not charge it. But a few other things I wanted to point out on here were the, uh, the electronic viewfinder. So that pops up and then immediately this turns on and this comes out. And then you can look through here rather than looking at the screen. And it knows when you put your face up next to it and turns that blank and turns that on and then goes away. 
So I think that's pretty cool. Um, that's very handy if you want something like that. And then it should automatically turn off. There we go. This does have Wi-Fi on it. I forgot to mention that before. Um, overall though, I am really liking this camera. I'm going to have to look at the footage later and see how it turns out. Another difference I wanted to mention between this and the HX90V is that this, I think, has slightly longer battery life because it does not have the GPS, so that allows it to have a little bit more battery, which is always nice. I also believe this has a better battery than the Canon G7X. I will record a few more shots tomorrow in different lighting and once I get the battery charged and I will insert those after this and then I will insert a final review of what I think of it. Okay guys, it's much later now. Well, not that much later, but it's 8.30 and I guess I can see that this camera does not do so well in darker lighting. You basically cannot see anything. Can you see me? Okay. So, yeah, not so great for dark lighting, but I kind of knew that going in. Hey guys, so it's the next morning now, and I'm going to be heading out going to the farmer's market, so I figured I would take the camera with me and see how it does video and see how pictures turn out and all. It's very overcast and cloudy, so that should be good lighting, I think. But yeah, let's just go test out the camera at the farmer's market and I'll keep reviewing the footage to see what I think about this camera. Alright guys, so now I'm at the pond in my town and it's still pretty cloudy out. I think the lighting is pretty good. Uh, I'll just take some pictures around here and maybe a little bit more video and see how things turn out. Okay guys, so overall, I think I can say that I really do like this camera. Again, this is the Sony HX80. I really like the zoom on it. I like the um, pop-up flash. I like the electronic viewfinder for if it's sunny outside and you want to look through there. I just like so much about it. I really like the pop-up LCD screen so you can vlog. Um, 
It also has really, really good zoom, which I really like. Um, I'm still getting a little bit used to it with all of the settings and everything. And you can say hello to my cat. Um, and some things I will say about it. One thing I noticed is if I tried to take a picture like this way, it has a three second delay. So like you hit to take the picture and you know, three, two, one, now it takes the picture. And I didn't realize that at first. So my first two pictures trying to take a picture like this was me going like, why is it not working? But yeah, um, overall, I do think I'm going to keep it. I want to mess around with the settings a little bit more. I mean, I've gone through all of them and made everything about like how I want it, I think. But um, I'll read through the manual a little bit more and just see what I want to do. Overall though, I think this is a very good camera if you want something that is pocketable and small but still very good quality. Um, it's also very good if you want that flip up screen for vlogging. I just think it's overall very handy and convenient and good quality. This does retail for about $350, which is not too bad when you compare it with other cameras like the Canon G7X. I will also say that I really, really do like the grip that it has on here because it means I can hold it like this with my thumb and I'm not going to drop it. I think I will keep this camera and use it for my future videos. And let's go ahead and switch out these two cameras and you can see what this one looks like in this setting. Okay, now I'm using the new camera and so you can compare and contrast my old one to this new one. By the way, if you're wondering, this was the camera I was using before. It's the Nikon Coolpix S6900. It has a viewfinder, not viewfinder, but LCD screen that flips out this way. You can turn around, put it back in. So it doesn't flip up like this camera does, but it flips out like this. Um, I think this is, th okay, this camera was about 130 bucks on Amazon. Um, and it's, I think it's good for pictures, but it was just not too great for videos. So I maybe wouldn't recommend this one if you're thinking about vlogging and stuff like that. I would recommend getting something more like this because this one just didn't do it for me. So anyway, thank you for watching this review video. Um, it's just an extra video I decided to put on my channel this week just for fun and because this camera only came out last month in April of 2016. It's very new and there's not very many reviews or anything like that out there. So I figured I'd do one and then if some people are trying to think they want this camera, they can watch it and decide for themselves. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye!